Purpose Group Southern Africa, the country's largest catering and support services group, has just released details of a black economic empowerment transaction. And joining us now to talk us through some of the detail is Mwanwabisi Kalawe, Country Managing Director for Compass Group Southern Africa, and Mwanwabisi Fadeso, CEO of the Teba Tourism Group. And they're both joining us in studio. So going to be a bit uh, tricky with the names <laughs> today. But uh, Mr. Kalawe, I'm going to start off with you. I mean, before we get into the detail of the transaction here. Let's get uh, some background here in terms of what we're looking at when we look at the Compass uh, Group Southern Africa and the kind of growth it's been experiencing over the past year or so. Um, when, when we went to look out for the, the partners, we're obviously looking for partners uh, who would provide synergies mm -hmm. uh, between their business and our business. We're also looking for, for partners who would play an active role uh, in our board to help us drive the business forward mm -hmm. uh, and also partners uh, with values uh, that are aligned uh, with, with ours. We believe that Tebe uh, offers that. Yeah. Uh, it took us about a year, year and a half to find suitable, suitable partners. Uh, in terms of growth, um, as, as was experienced by other businesses in South Africa and in the rest of the world, 2009 uh, was, a, was a very tough year. Uh, we survived the year by restructuring the business, uh, watching our costs uh, very closely, and of course, tapping into best practice offered by Compass PLC, the 70% shareholder uh, in, in our business. When you're looking at the business, though, I mean, are you focused completely on the tourism, so hospitality side of things? Um, if I can talk for, for a brief moment about our business, um, there are two legs to our business. There's the catering leg, um, that uh, talks directly uh, to tourism. Uh, we, we provide meals uh, in, in hospitals, uh, in schools, uh, in factories and head mm -hmm. offices, plus uh, functions, um, which is where the, the tourism synergy uh, comes in. The second leg of our business is facilities management, um, things like uh, maintaining building infrastructure, yeah. uh, cleaning, of, cleaning of facilities. That, that's our business. Uh, so we think that the, the synergy uh, between, between Tebe uh, and Campus is very strong uh, on the catering, on the, on the food yeah. side of the business. Let's extrapolate on mm -hmm. those synergies from a Tebe's perspective. I mean, what are you actually looking to gain from this relationship moving forward? Well, if we look at the, um, at the tourism uh, value chain, what we're trying to do is um, ensure that we have a meaningful presence along the value chain, whether it's leisure tourism or business tourism. Mm -hmm. So, for example, where we have, uh, where we have events and conferencing companies, um, that, that there are catering requirements there that we're not able to fill at the moment. We currently run some large venues like the Coca-Cola Dome, and there are um, there are opportunities. Um, there are opportunities there. We r we are involved with the likes of the South African National Parks at Cape Point, mm -hmm. and there will be opportunities there. So there are some immediate opportunities in terms of our 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 group, and so this fills an important gap. Um, and I do also believe that going forward, our joint offering, our our new offering, will enable us to present a more appealing proposition to our clients. Would that 25% BEE stake in the company, I mean, uh, what price tag is it coming at? Well, um, the group, uh, the Compass Group, um, as you're aware, currently in, in the country has a, a turnover of about a, uh, one and a quarter billion. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, we're coming in at, uh, uh, for 25% uh, stake of that magnet, that kind of, that size of company. Yeah, how is that exactly being funded? Are you actually putting the money in? Yes, we are. There is a combination of funding that will include uh, include um, you know f uh, funds that we raise uh, externally, as we do. We were an investment company, and we raise funds mm -hmm. for our various investments. Well, let's look at uh, Compass itself. I mean, Compass says that uh, Tebe's investment will help it increase its growth. Uh, you know, how, how, what kind of growth are you targeting over the next year? And how do you see Tebe enhancing your, your growth prospects? Uh, as my partner, Monobisi, uh, has mentioned, uh, there's a big opportunity uh, in the events uh, sector. Um, uh, as I mentioned earlier when I was uh, explaining uh, our business, uh, we've got a very strong business on the outside catering mm -hmm. uh, part. Uh, the two brands, House of Bon Cuisines and Down and Country, uh, could play, play a role uh, in, in supporting his business. 
um, in the tourism tour, tourism centers, uh, specifically tourism center in, in Cape Town, uh, we can play a role a role there uh, through using our traditional uh, catering catering business. So those are areas of opportunity that we're seeing. In terms of new opportunities, are you looking at all at diversifying uh, the business through you know different avenues moving forward, or are you sticking to the tried and tested? Um, we're going to stick to our knitting, the, <laughs> the tried, tried and tested. And of course, uh, with, with Tebe on board, we'll be able, we believe, uh, mm -hmm. to, to explore wider opportunities than we would have explored on our own. Well, how do you see this on a broader scale then changing South Africa's 4 billion rand catering industry? Well, I think that we, um, we, we will be able to bring um, to, this, uh, to this partnership the ability as I mentioned earlier on, of, of really pursuing opportunities that we couldn't have pursued on our own because we didn't have an important leg of, yeah. uh, or important aspect of, um, of the offering that, the, that our clientele uh, um, uh, desires. So from that perspective, I, I see us being able to contribute to growth as well as being able to contribute to growth through us both exploring new areas. Mm -hmm. um, that we are now able to explore because of, of, uh, of what we do. And I think we're, there are certain sectors where both of us uh, or, or one of us feels underrepresented and, uh, and this will, will strengthen our, our proposition in that respect.